Well, hello. Yeah, I'm back again. I'm back again. Um, and this time I'm walking. I'm back again. And this time I am walking. I'm headed to the gym. I had a direct word that I wanted to um, drop into your ears. And I want to talk to the people. I want to talk to the people. You're afraid of falling. You're afraid of falling. You're afraid of failing. You fail so much. You've made so many mistakes. And you're just afraid of moving forward or doing anything because you keep falling. And so because you're afraid of falling, you don't do nothing at all. You're just stuck. You're just stuck in a moment. You're stuck in a moment in time. You're stuck in a hope. You're stuck in a dream. And in this dream, you don't want to be fulfilled. But you're just stuck there. And you're pondering on it. And you're allowing the dream. And you're allowing the, the hopelessness uh, to talk to you. And see, it's almost like misery loves company. It's almost like um, the world that you've created. It tells you about all the good stuff. But then it pulls you back into itself. It tells you about what all the good stuff that is out there. But then it pulls you back into depression. It pulls you back into hurt. It pulls you back into, into pain. Uh, but what I want to tell you, and I think it's in uh, Jude 1 and 24, and it's something that God is given and has promised you, the believer. And it said, now unto him that is able to keep you from falling. See, he's able to keep you from falling. You're afraid of failing. You're afraid of falling. But even if you do fall, the scripture says seven times the righteous man will fall, but God will pick him back up. And so don't worry about falling, just worry about going. Just worry about being obedient. Just worry about doing the will of God. Just worry about pleasing him. And as the scripture says to him that's able to keep you from falling. And then he's going to present you faultless unto the day, unto the Lord with exceeding joy. And so in the end, what's going to happen? What's going to happen at the end of your song? At the end of your song, it's not going to be a sad song. Your benediction is not sad. But your, your benediction is joy. Matter of fact, not, not just joy, but your benediction is exceeding, exceedingly joy. Hear what I'm saying? These are my words. Keep it in your spirit. Keep it in your heart. Don't let your mind, don't let your brain talk to you. Don't let your brain lie to you. Those are my words. God bless you.